However, if you have put it to Sport Plus, you can let <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that. <laughs> wow, the grip! Wow! I want this car again. Again. Uh. <laughs> In normal. And then, uh, Sampai Federal Highway, we're going towards Klang. Okay, during on the Federal Highway, I would like you to try it in spot. And then once we entered NTE yeah. towards Sunway, and then yeah. that is when you can try out the uh, end mode. Okay. 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 So no problem. I will guide you during the oh. drive. Okay. And that is when I put down the windows as well. Yes, if you would like <laughs> to. Right. Are we ready to go? Yes. Okay. Everybody is comfortable. Yeah. Inside the car. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm ready really to roll out. Okay. So we go going to take left. Roger that, sir. Okay, however, the clutch is a bit on the high side. Eh? Yeah. Okay. I realize. Uh, this is all standard. We doesn't modify anything yet. Okay. It's all stock standard. Okay. okay. So this one we take right. Yeah, it's a bit on the high side. Yep. The pointy thong it is a uh, high side because this car normally if we talk about performance car you can feel the clutch is a bit heavy but for this car it's actually like very light like a yeah. normal driving car yeah okay this junction we're going to take right okay. left sorry all right i think later i just close up yeah just make sure we don't really use this yeah. <laughs> So this is an eco mode. It just drives like a normal car. Yeah. <laughs> it's a short shifter, is it? Uh, come again? Is it a short shifting? Yes, short shifting. Uh, we're going oh. to the right. Yeah. Right. Short stroke and close ratio. Yeah. Oops. Can you feel the engagement very sharp and? Yeah, very very sharp. Yeah. Like Some... I said, I never, I, I've never driven a performance manual before, so this is very new to me. Yeah. Because a normal transmission, you can feel a little bit rubbery. Yeah. Yeah, when you engage to a gear, sometimes you also don't know which gear you are in. Yeah. However, for this car, we have the gear indicator. Now you are in third. Mm -hmm. Do the I gear. go straight? Yeah, we go straight. Okay, and also we have a start-stop system as well. Okay. So how to start it back, you just press your clutch. And then the car will start by itself. Is it green? Oh, yeah, oh. it's green. So, oh, it starts itself. Yep, because once you press the clutch, it will go by itself. Oh, so that's how it works. Yeah. So, is you if you are driving this car accidentally trip the engine, yeah. you just press your clutch. The car will start. Okay, back. that's very useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we go to the left. And then once you take a left turn over here, and then you, I want you to take far right turn. And just to the right lane. Okay, so after this turn, I want you to just follow the Jalan Lapangan Terbang Subang. Okay, we're going out. There's no blind spot monitoring though, this car? Yeah, because the idea was the car should be in front all the time. So that's why they just eliminate the blind spot detection. <laughs> okay. okay, and then at this junction, we're going to take left turn. Go out there. Yeah, go out. Yeah. Wow, the top, even in Nikko mode. Yep. Okay, now you can try in normal mode. Okay, normal. Okay, in normal mode, you can feel that the engine response is a little bit 
more aggressive yeah. than the eco is. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stay at the most far right lane. Even though in six gear, right? Yeah, I can feel the pool. Yep, the pool is there. Okay, the you can experience a slightly on the road noise because we are using very heavy zeros. So normally performance tire will give you this a bit noise lah. Yeah, because the contact rubber contact on with the road is slightly larger, so that's why the road noise is there. That's just more matter actually. <laughs> the noise is very similar to a Geoli forty five. <laughs> the uh, I mean the strong uh, oh, external the, noise. The external yeah, noise, the, the sound insulation, yeah. about six to eight months only then you can get it. I heard it's very popular there. Yeah, very very popular. I was really interested also because from those YouTubers in Europe their videos are uh, yeah. I watch their videos. So I go towards yeah, Shalom going, right? Yeah going towards Shalom. I believe this car can take this U-turn without braking. Yes! But then, this car in front. <laughs> So very precise, the gear shift, right? Yeah. So <coughs> when I go for a test drive with media, so they mentioned that this gear setting yeah. is close to the Type R Honda. Oh, the feeling. I see. But then this, I don't know. Somehow this car attracts me more than the Type R. Actually, Type R is too futuristic for me, lah. It's not an everyday car, basically. And then just uh, we are going to so Sawi Pramila basically. Okay. So we follow the Banda Sawi, Kuala yeah. Lumpur Bangsa. Yeah. Yeah. It's very easy to drive with very light clutching everything. Okay, however, later once you enter this uh, MPE yeah. highway, yeah. I want you to put in N mode and okay. then you tell me what you feel on the suspension later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can go once you are here and then you can press the N mode button on the right. This one? Yeah. So right now the okay. exhaust is also pop and bang. Yes. Right? Yeah, you can, you can listen to it. Oh, that was a bang. 
So the pop and bang will be more louder when you rev it more than 4000 RPM. Okay. okay, so I'm taking yeah. that as an instruction. <laughs> yeah, you can try it out, no problem. Even though it's a guided, but yeah, you do it, man. <laughs> Oh. Can you feel? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because why right, the end mode is basically more suitable for track use. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why because on the track basically the road surface will be more smoother, right? Yeah. Can you feel the heel and toe mm -hmm. thing when you downshift and stuff? Whoa. Whoa. So we're going straight. Alright. Straight away and then later we'll let you know where to you turn. Hey, I want this car again. Again. <laughs> it's more fun than a GOE 45. Eh? Okay. You go straight down there. So you can pop and bang underneath the okay. uh, you drop gear to take gear again. And then you go down and then just touch my Okay, you can slow down because we're going to make a U-turn in front of there. Okay, can you see there is a, a road going down? Yeah. Okay, we're going down. Sorry, uh, rear seat passengers. Yeah. <laughs> no problem, as long as you enjoy the car. That is the main purpose of this. We want you guys to enjoy. Yeah. Alright? That's why the N also meaning for enjoy. Wow, pandai chaka. But this, this is really, really something new to me at least. Okay, so uh, going back time, I would like you to experience in uh, N custom. Mm -hmm. Okay, you press it again on the right side. Okay, what I will do, I will change the suspension to sport. So at least you won't feel that bounce so much. Yeah. Okay, right. Then. Okay, so I go straight? Yeah, sure. Go straight, going back. Can you see the suspension is more... Yeah, smoother. Yeah, smoother. Immediate change. Is it really loud outside? Of actually? course, as what you listened just now in oh. the showroom. Oh. Because the car is so well insulated, so you won't hear it so much. But from the outside, people will look at you, basically. Oh. <laughs> so I just go straight? Yeah, up. go straight. Oops. It's, it's not that hard as uh, the end mode just now. Are you okay taking corners? Yeah. Okay. I will reroute you. Uh, sweeper car, we're going to Daytona then. Okay, we're ready then. Eh? Got sweeper car? Yeah. Was it behind or in front of us? <laughs> sweeper will be at the back. <laughs> <laughs> they are having hard time exactly. to follow us. Yeah. <laughs> it was the Ionic, is it? Yeah, the Ionic. Oh. Straight, huh? Yeah, go straight. And then after this turn, I want you to go to the left. Alright. And then there is a big, huge turn, right? Yeah. Uh, so, if you're confident to control, and then you can try it out. 
In a Hyundai, I've never done it before. In BM, yes. <laughs> but. Not a part of the route, oh. uh, because uh, yeah, for you because I can see that you can handle the car well. That's yeah. why I give you a chance to try it out. So have you met anyone that doesn't really know how to handle the car? Yes, oh. since uh, started, some of them is already is a track driver actually. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can I would. put to end mode now again. Mode All right. Okay. okay, so just take it. So I suggest you to put it in third gear. Okay, full the traffic. Yeah, the bus. Oh, you can just oh, throttle okay, it. Can. Yeah, throttle it. Throttle it. Throttle, throttle. No problem. It's okay. Throttle it. Wow, the grip. It. Yeah, throttle it. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay, and then we go back to uh, this lane uh, behind the Alberts. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow, the grip. Okay, this that actually the ELSD effect because it will plant the car on the road. Yeah. So that wherever that you point your steering wheel, yeah, it will follow you. Oh. So that's why it doesn't feel any understeer or oversteer. Ah. If a normal car, if you do something like that just now mid corner throttle right sometimes you feel the steering wheel is a bit uh, understeer or oversteer okay you better on the center lane i think better you change to normal mode because road position here is a bit rough yeah. yep okay so we go down here and then we go back to hq okay so that's why this car is actually meant for cornering it's not how fast you get there, but how do you get there? Yes. So that's why we call it BPM instead of RPM. <laughs> Beats per minute instead of ref revolution per minute. <laughs> yeah, my beat per minute is quite high. <laughs> it's 100. <laughs> uh, I believe you can control the car very well. I've never done it in a manual, seriously. BM many times. So we're going to small Uh, I exit yeah. here. Yeah, exit here. Oh, okay. Just rotate it. Can you feel the the pulling the LSD pull yes. the car so that the car won't go yes. off shot. Yeah. So that's why this car yeah. is priced at this price tag. I rather not call it a vehicle, I rather call it the end machine. This is a machine actually. Yes. So instead of having a two cars, one is daily driven, one is track car, this car has the best of both. Both work. Okay, what you mean? How many owners are there right now for this car? Oh, at this moment, um, Okay, we have uh, several booking but not yet delivered. So, okay. if you are the one, you will be having the 01 over 20. This is the special uh, plug that we are giving out to the special 20 in it. Oh. And this car, we cannot sell it. Okay, wait. 
take a less bet because yeah. this car is exclusively. Do you know whose signature is this? Have you heard a guy named Albert Diamond? Yeah. Oh, his signature. Yeah, because uh, he do all the M cars, right? Uh huh. Uh-huh. In year 2005, 2008, yeah. he stopped working with BMW and joined Hyundai. So this is his baby project. Oh. So that's why the M and then N. <laughs> Pandai. So uh, last year in December, we are in Sepang, we have this uh, Touring Car Championship. Mm-hmm. So Hyundai Motorsport team, uh, they, 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 they race during that time. Yeah. So Albert Bayman was here. So at the same time, we also set up a road show in Sepang. So that's why we invite him to just put down his signature over here. So this car is very exclusive. Wow, very nice. This is the idea stop and go. But if you do like it, you can just uh, press it here. Once the light blue on, and then the idea stop, we we'll just switch off. Yeah, I don't really like start and stop actually. And then the pop pop sound is yeah. something similar to the rally type of pop yes. and bang. Yeah. It's not like the normal brrrr sound that having in the Golf GTI or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's a real bang. And then we, I told you right, the if six speed man- manual right, it's like that. The R, you pull up this yes. and push to the most left and push up. So you won't accidentally go into R run, you need to lift this thing yeah. like oh. that. This, oh. this is European style. Yeah. If let's say Japanese, they will always pull to the back. Ah. What was my fuel consumption? How do I see that? Okay, <coughs> if in a normal driving condition with a 50 liter petrol, 50 liters of fuel tank, yeah. so the car can drive around 500 kilometers distance. But I can see the way of your driving might be you weren't able to achieve it. La. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually, fuel consumption is a bit subjective, it's all dependent on the. Yeah, drive. true. Yeah, go left, far left. Okay, you can just maintain on this lane. Maybe just go straight in there. And then the traffic light will go in straight. Okay. You can stay on your right lane if you want to have your last pull. <laughs> This car is equipped with launch control as well. Really? Yeah. And the launch control is actually you can uh, control the RPM between 2008 and 3008. Okay, they will give you 1000 uh, variants that you can actually set to what speed that you want. But it will wear off your tyres faster. Yeah. See you. Wow. Is it uh, meet your expectation or beyond your expectation? Really? Honestly, it's beyond. Uh. Honestly, it's beyond my expectation. Okay, the junction there, we're going to take right turn in front. Eh? Without test driving this car, I thought it's just going to be a, a very gimmicky Hyundai, you know? It's it's actually, you ask my personal point of view, right? Yeah. It's something like a Golf GTI on a steroid. This car. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people 
think that Hyundai always all this why is coming out with a uh, family car comfortable driven car yeah. and so on and so forth so yeah. when we introduced this N batch mm-hmm. so they thought that it's just a uh, somebody in the design team just put a high powered engine and then that's it yeah but actually no they tune everything 